The release of GPT-3 API in 2020 has generated a wave of AI language startups that the world has never seen before. Now, with the release of ChatGPT API, the stakes are even higher and the game is on again. Millions of developers are already working on the next generation of businesses while others are afraid of losing their jobs. Nevertheless, creating your own custom ChatGPT application is much easier than you might think, and as I will show you, can be done only with a few lines of code. So in this video, you will learn how to create your own custom ChatGPT application with a user interface like this. Let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is download and install the latest Python from the official Python website. After you have installed Python, create a folder on your system and navigate to that folder. Then create a virtual environment. I'm using Windows, so for me the command is py, but for Mac and Linux users, the command will be Python or Python 3. After your environment is created, you have to activate it with the following command. Next, we are going to install the packages required for this project. We are going to need only three packages, which are OpenAI, Streamlit, Chat, and Streamlit. After you have installed your packages, create a file called assistant.py and import them. Next, you have to get your OpenAI key from OpenAI. You can do that by going to platformopenai.com account API keys. Then you have to press create new secret key and copy the value. Then you can either paste it here as a string or you can set it as an environment variable on your PC. Next, let's set the page config and the page title for our application. We also have to define a session state, which is a special object that Streamlit uses to pass data between user interactions. Afterwards, we must define a function that generates completions using the ChatGPT API. Unlike GPT-3, ChatGPT takes input in the form of an array of messages. Each item in the array has a role field and a content field. Role field can be either system user or an assistant, and content is the actual message itself. Our first message is the system message that tells the model what's going on. In my case, I'm saying you're a helpful writing assistant when I send you a message improved for a formal business conversation. The token limit for ChatGPT is still only 4,000, so we must truncate the messages to leave room for the response. This piece of code here picks out only the latest messages but keeps the system message at the beginning. You can find the entire project's code on my GitHub in the link below. The final step in this function is to call the new ChatGPT API with our messages and return the response. Now we just have to create the UI elements on our front end using Streamlit to interact with our chatbot. We require a text element that will call our get completion function upon submission and a Streamlit chat component that will allow us to display our messages. It is always a good practice to include additional instructions for ChatGPT in each and every message because it might sometimes forget the initial system prompt. Finally, we can run our app from our terminal using the streamlit run assistant.py command. The window should pop up in the browser and you should see your app live. Now let's see how this app can help me write my Slack messages better. So for example, if I say, when are you free? It turns it into, I would like to schedule a meeting with you. Could you kindly provide me with your availability so we can find a mutually convenient time to meet? If I say, what do you want me to do? It turns it into, how may I assist you? Or what specific task or action would you like me to take? If I say, how long will it take? It says, may I have the estimate of the duration required to complete this task? Which I think sounds a lot more appropriate. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more about how to leverage the power of ChatGPT and GPT-3, don't forget to subscribe.